a very interesting text message exchange between Trump loyalist uh, Sean Hannity uh, and then White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany. Uh, it sa suggests that Hannity texted Kayleigh McEnany on January 7th, the day after the insurrection, laying out a five-point approach for talking to then outgoing President Trump. He started with one, no more stolen election talk, two, Yes, impeachment and 25th Amendment are real, and many people will quit, to which Kelly McEnany responded, love that, thank you, that is the playbook, I will help reinforce. Hannity, according to these messages, also told McEnany the White House staff should try to keep Trump away from certain people. He texted her, quote, key now, no more crazy people, to which McEnany responded, yes, 100%. Uh, we should note that Sean Hannity's show was a major place where these election lies were told. In fact, they're being sued as a result. And Kayleigh McEnany is one of the biggest election liars that we know. Um, so what's your reaction when you see this conversation, this private conversation? Well, it's stunning, right? It's stunning to see this full-on evidence of these types of conversations that were happening in the lead-up to January 6th, but even more so, just the fact that they knew the gravity of the situation, they knew the repercussions of the possibility of what would happen and continuing down this narrative. And then even more egregious is that now they've doubled down on it, right? And the problem is not only do, does this narrative still exist out there, the big lie lives on, it's being used by people who are seeking public office this year. I mean, it's become sort of the Republican Party's platform. It's really, really the big lie and you have to support it or you're going to get kicked out. And I think that you know, I think it's important to get this evidence out there to the American people so that they can see that in the lead up in that situation with Donald Trump, people knew people knew that this type of action was worthy of impeachment. It was worthy of the 25th Amendment, that these are actual discussions happening with people like Sean Hannity, 